Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 12th, 2023. Well, we all know today's going to be potentially a volatile day, particularly in the morning as we wait for a CPI report. But what is that? What are the charts telling us about today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Top of the morning, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts, see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see, yesterday we made a strong challenge to this upside resistance, pushed up through it, and then at the end of the day saw some sellers come in. But what's interesting this morning is ahead of that, that um, economic data, we are seeing the bulls confidently push to the upside despite the fact there is some data out there suggesting that the possibility is it could disappoint we'll see what happens here in a little while but as we look at this market right now i gotta tell you if we continue to push on through here breaking through this resistance and breaking through um the uh downtrend here on the diamonds if we can hold that higher low I got to say we're all bull. Uh, I mean, it's it's the bulls will be in control, large in charge um, of the diamonds index. So keep a close eye on that if they can push through. However, if we falter and remember, um, it wasn't all that long ago. If anyone remembers, and this might have been a painful remembrance, um, we had a CPI number where the market gapped really high, up 800 points on that CPI number. And then as soon as the market opened, it immediately reversed and we went on down to a new low. So remember, just because we're spiking up here with confidence doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the case for the day. So if we see bears coming into this market today, we'll then look for a retest of this support level back down here. And let's hope that holds. Um, if the bulls can really start pushing here, maybe we come up here and we test this resistance of the chart right in here. And you'll notice that that's a fairly significant level of resistance in that Dow chart. But that would certainly be very, very bullish. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, SPY also made a run for the resistance level in the chart yesterday but didn't quite get there and then we we saw a little bit of a pullback we um, a little bit of a shooting star pattern in here and what we're seeing is uh, not a real big surprise we're just kind of stuck in this range uh, today could change that if those um, if that CPI number um, comes in softer than expected I would look for that spy to shoot up and probably break through that resistance and we may even work to come up here and test this next level of resistance in the chart and since we've already broken out of this little downtrend we've made lower highs or higher highs and higher lows in the chart i would have to say that gives the bulls the the definite edge here for the trend so watch that close if they can push on through there unfortunately if they disappoint again look for some big potential point moves and i would suggest a retest of support somewhere between here and here could quickly be tested and hopefully once again that would hold because if that doesn't hold, then, um, well, all bets are off and we could see some really big point moves to the downside. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Our QQQ has been by far the strongest of the indexes, but yesterday it has served, in fact, at this week, it has served as the weakest of the indexes um, out there in its actual price action. It's been more in a light consolidating mode. And by the way, if you'll note, all of the indexes are, are coming in with very low volume. Um, so we're just not getting um, a lot of momentum here in these moves. 
And I did suggest that possibility as we head toward, you know, the beginning of earnings season that we could see that choppy consolidation begin. And that's what we've seen here in the QQQ, kind of locked in this range, at least for now. We're not really seeing any bear activity to speak of, but we're not getting those bulls to really press um, all that hard. Resistance above, if we can get that bullish number um, out today, look for a test of this resistance in the chart and if we can pop on through there then we're going to start looking for these next higher resistance levels and if those bears find inspiration well look for this area right in here for support and remember we still have this upside trend that could help us as well if we were to falter here we might come down find an extra level of support down in here and that trend and still hang on in that area so watch that carefully then if we look at our IWM, IWM kind of surprised me in a way yesterday, the way it was pushing so hard. It's been really, really weak um, overall. Volume continues to be very weak, but we did stretch up here and we tested that resistance in the chart. We poked through it. We didn't hold it confidently at the end of the day, but you can see in the pre-market, it's all pump to the upside heading into this number. So we'll see if we can continue to follow through with that um, break of this area. Maybe we push up here into that downtrend test in the chart. And that would be if we get that bullish number today, I think testing up into here uh, or maybe just a little bit higher would make some sense. If the bears um, find reason to attack today, then I would look for a retest of this level down in here on the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX is just as calm as can be. It's, it just doesn't, they must be um, working on some, um, uh, some real calming uh, mood music or something like that because it just doesn't seem to have any kind of concern here. Um, with the data coming uh, not only today but for the rest of the week so let's watch that closely we're holding this price support if this number comes in bullish and we continue to see this bull pump that we've got in the pre-market then I would look for this support level in here to break and we move on lower which is starting to reach down into a little bit of complacency considering the data that we have coming our way but um, that's where the market's at. So if we um, happen to see that number come in a little bit disappointing, um, then I would look for maybe this level up here to break and we start seeing a little bit of fear that could roll into the market. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. And T2122 is signaling a bit of a bit of a complication here for us if we do get a real good bullish number uh, meaning a softening of the cpi number then uh, well we don't have very far to go um, um our t2122 is already pushed right back up here into the bearish reversal zone we could still stretch a little bit further there's never been a time i don't care how far back you go there's never been a time when t2122 is over 100. Uh, that's the way it's calculated so we're up here pretty high now that doesn't mean we can't push on higher with a good number but we will be pegging out and we will anytime we peg out in in an indicator like this we want to be watching for that potential reversal to occur at any time um, if the bears find inspiration well just keep in mind we've got a big open opportunity to the downside if they find something to grab a hold of today and that would be um, that could be a very painful reversal for those folks who have been buying up in anticipation thinking everything is going to be great could be might be the opposite be prepared for just about anything today when we take a look at our t2108 our t2108 improved yesterday but i think you also have to say just maybe not enough to get things um, really all that excited obviously we held this price support down here that was a good sign pushing back up 41 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average you'll also want to keep in mind we are still below some resistance levels in this chart 
And um, even though we've been trying, 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 we're not quite out from underneath that downtrend here in T2108. So we're really at that point. If that number comes out um, bearish this morning, you could see really wouldn't be a surprise to see that reversal in that chart right in that region if that were to occur. If that number is bullish and we break above that, break above here, we need to prove we can hold and then up to the upside we go. Um, let's take a look at our T2107. Our T2107, very much the same. Showed a nice little improvement yesterday. We held this price support and that's good. 46% um, of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. You will wanna make note that we are pressing into a resistance area here in T2107 and well if we draw this trend line out there we are right there we're right there at that resistance area of that downtrend so once again if we were to get some kind of bearish news here today um, that might not be all that big of a surprise to see that turn lower if those bulls get that energy look for that pop through and then we'll see if we can catch a hold up here and push on through to the upside for those bulls. Let's take a look at our T2101 and T21 kind of as you would assume with volume being so low and record numbers of flows into uh, money markets. Well, you can see that we're not getting a lot of momentum um, in these moves and that's what T2122 is telling us. Although we've got a big uh, attempt to push this up bullishly, um, we're not seeing it happen with uh, momentum. So please keep that in mind when we have low momentum moves, if the, if the sentiment suddenly shifts, boy, it can shift fast and you can have that big, ugly reversal. Um, so I'm not suggesting that's going to occur. Um, just be prepared in case it does. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Well, our economic calendar, we've been talking about it all morning here, and that is that CPI number. Now, before we get that, we're also gonna get our mortgage numbers here this morning. Um, they haven't been all that great, so kind of keep that in mind as we get through uh, that number, then we're going to um, hit the CPI, which of course happens before the bell. I'll look for some volatility, some wild price action um, before we um, open up the day. We're gonna hear from a couple of Fed speakers today. We've got um, the inflation expectations not expected to move the market. Petroleum status could be interesting because yesterday we started seeing that oil creep up. And remember, as oil prices creep up and continue to go higher, so does our inflation. That, that is a major calculation in inflation. When you look at that price at the pump, every time it's moving up, just realize our inflation is probably moving higher. And then later on in the afternoon, we're going to have um, a, a, a 10 year note auction and we've got the FOMC uh, minutes. Now, it would seem odd to me if we get a really big reaction on the FOMC, but there is um, assumably can, um, in this FOMC minutes all the conversation about the banking risks. So we'll want to keep an eye on that at 2 p.m. And once again, I would expect some volatility. It seems like we most commonly have lots of volatility on those on those releases. We'll have a Treasury statement. I don't expect any uh, major price action out of that. And as soon as we get past this data, we're going to be fo totally focused on jobless claims in the PPI coming out tomorrow morning. So be prepared. And remember, the big day is Friday. That is the kickoff of earnings season. And they packed in, just to overcomplicate it, they packed in a huge number of market moving uh, potential data points as we get the big bank earnings report. So um, buckle up and um, eat your Wheaties because we, we should expect a lot of price action action move huge volatility coming here on Friday let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today now our earnings calendar not a lot going on which uh, we're waiting for the official kickoff 
of, of earnings on Friday. But today we do have a couple of notables, somewhat notables. Um, um, APOG, I put on the list to the day. today. We've got a nice little pop here in the pre-market. Uh, pushing up now I can't tell you if that's just the pre-market enthusiasm or if they've already reported yet but watch that closely um, obviously considerable resistance above uh, maybe this can push this on through now and start uh, picking things up here in APOG then we're gonna hear from BBBY um, um, I don't know that they can really say much of anything that's going to help this out Best Buy looks like it's on its final days here, um, unless there's some kind of a surprise save here, but Best Buy not looking, or not Best Buy, but Bed Bath & Beyond not looking so good here, um, no matter what they say. And then if we take a look at um, SPWH, well, SPWH will also report this afternoon. As you can see, we've got an interesting little W formation here cracked up through there um, one of the things that's that has just been really really surprising to me of late is just how much speculation there is heading into an earnings report seeing folks buy 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 heading into those earnings reports may turn out to be a um, a, a tough decision if um, this happens to report poorly so watch that closely um, downtrend is still in play here in that chart as well Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can please do me that favor and click the thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you um, want to uh, provide some additional help or support to the channel, share this video out on your social media feed that attracts uh, that that will reach new people uh, to see that video. And if um, you want to um, support the channel through buy me a coffee, there's a link right below. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who does that you guys are truly heroes i i really appreciate it and we're very very close to a 30,000 uh, uh number of subscribers so it's possible we might even make that today with a little bit of effort so thank you everyone for your help let's take a quick look at the stocks that could be setting up and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you've got to do your own due diligence be very very careful and particularly with the data that we have coming today by golly, anything is possible. Let's take a look at the US dollar here. Now, interesting patterns here in the US dollar. If you're familiar with your candlestick patterns, we gapped up into a price resistance level and then yesterday gapped back down. We left a window on both sides of this. And what we have officially here in the um, UUP or the dollar um, ETF is we have ourselves an abandoned baby pattern here in that chart and it happens to come right at a price resistance level now that would be particularly bearish um, if this were to if we're to see um, the dollar fall down and take out this low that would that would really cement that number the weakening of the dollar is having a um, uh, an impressive impact on precious metals so if we take a look at gold gld etf now this is just kind of paper gold but gld holding a price support level and you can see we've kind of got that bullish abandoned baby showing up here on the on gld so watch that close with a window on both sides that is a bullish case for gold and you can see pushing on up here this morning now if the dollar fluctuates and there's plenty of reason for that dollar to fluctuate but if that dollar um, fluctuates up and down watch gold um, move um, with that i gotta say this has been an impressive move for gold there is a Morgan Stanley report out there that's suggesting that if gold holds above $2,000 an ounce, which we are right now above $2,000 an ounce, that we should start looking for $2,300 an ounce in gold. So watch that carefully. I do think it's a, a little overextended in the short term.
term and may require just a little bit more rest here before um, it moves on higher. But if we give it a little bit of time, um, let it consolidate a little bit up in this area, then that stretch to the upside does seem possible. So keep a close eye on that. Silver, got to say the same thing. Boy, silver has been really running to the upside. It may be a little bit on the overstretched to the upside. We had a little bit of this island reversal down here. Um, and that really set us into a upside move. Um, to the upside, um, strong move to the upside. So watch that carefully. If we hold these support levels in here uh, with a little bit of rest or consolidation, then I would look for silver to move on higher. And this, by the way, is a quite a bullish pattern um, pushing through to the upside already. So watch that. Take a look at copper. Um, FCX is making an attempt. You'll notice we've got a fairly strong level of price resistance here in this chart, but we're also moving and respecting this upside trend. So we push through this downtrend, push right into this resistance. What I'm looking for is that pop through. If that pop through and holds or consolidates over to that trend and then pushes on up. I would look for some bullish action potentially coming in copper, particularly with silver and gold looking so strong. You might um, also look at some of the other commodity stocks out there. Um, we, we've seen some really big fast moves to the downside in steel, but here recently, the last few days, they have been moving to the upside. Um, so keep an eye on some of these. Notice CLF, Cleveland Cliffs, pushing back up into that resistance. If it can pop back through and hold up there, then we may just continue to attack to the upside. Now, I saw some real impressive moves in some of the... Um, agriculture stocks um, yesterday. Take a look at CF Industries coming up off of this bottom. Now I would say this isn't quite ready for prime time here. Still in a downtrend on that chart. But if that pushes up through and holds, boy, I would be watching something in CF if that were to occur. Um, Archer Daniels um, had a really good couple of days here breaking this downtrend holding the higher low, holding price support, pushing up through some resistance here in the chart. So once again, a little bit of rest or consolidation here. I would look for some more upside here in Archer Daniels. Something going on here in that commodity sector or um, uh, consumer defensive sector of the market. Speaking of that consumer defensive sector, we're just seeing all kinds of stocks in that sector moving to the upside. If we look at uh, Clorox, Clorox moving in this nice little, it's very boring, it's very choppy, and, and um, these old boring stocks don't normally move fast, but they're stable and they're big uh, dividend payers. Keep an eye on those. Um, um, CPB, Campbell Soup, just moving up in a beautiful little upside trend. Not moving fast, but not a ton of volatility in that chart. And we're just seeing a lot of those. WMT is also, Walmart is also in that category. And notice that we have rallied nicely. We broke through some resistance. And now we're getting a little bit of a rest. If we can rest up in here, then look for that next upside opportunity. And there's just so many in this sector um, uh, showing that bullishness here recently. Coca-Cola pushing up. Um, watch this little platform up in here. We certainly have resistance to deal with here in this chart, but Coke has been moving up nicely. Take a look at, um, all of a sudden I just, I had it and I lost it. Uh, <laughs> guess I'm having a senior moment here. Um, but there are quite a few stocks across this sector that are looking uh, very, very good. So look, um, look closely into that sector. Um, and then last but not least, I think we've got to be looking into that energy sector. We saw energy perking up yesterday. And if we continue to see, you know, OPEC, um, OPEC's attack here um, in trying to uh, drive prices higher, 
um, certainly gapped us up strongly. Now we've rested out here toward this trend area. Look for that opportunity for these to maybe start moving in higher. Um, uh, Warren Buffett's OXY um, is in a nice bullish pattern here. Notice we've broken this downtrend. We're holding support levels. Watch for that opportunity here. We might find that trend out here soon. Continue to the upside. We see Exxon Mobil moving on up, breaking through resistance, breaking through downtrend, holding a support level. Look for that next opportunity if that can start to stretch on through to the upside. So keep an eye on some of those oil and gas stocks. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Take care. Have an have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning for the PPI number. Wish you all the best.